Welcome to this week's Q&A. We've got a question from one of our viewers in Sydney this time and um, he's asked, look, I'm really confused about buying a new home. And I can understand that because most of the news that comes out these days is uh, sensationalised to some extent and people are really concerned in relation to whether they're buying into the market at a time when they should be fearful anxious, um, they're just confused. So it's a great question. And I guess one of the ways of looking at things is perhaps looking at some of the quantitative um, data that, that can support a decision either way. And if we look at the latest home lending figures that are available from the ABS, and that's at the end of February, uh, we can see that there is a, a decline month on month in housing lending on a national basis. Um, of some 3.7%. However, let's have a look at that and, and see how that's basically comprised within the different markets within Australia, within the states and territories. So if we look at the owner-occupier sector, that's come down further. It's actually declined by 4.7% month on month and investment lending has declined by only 1.8%. And these are national numbers. So if we then again look at perhaps a bit more granularity and see what's happened in New South Wales, because that's actually led these numbers down and this viewer is in Sydney. So if we look at New South Wales, I mean, the home lending there declined 8.6% month on month in February. And it was led by, again, in owner-occupier sector, which declined by some 10.5%. And that's fairly significant. So um, the demand there month on month seems to be softening further than in other areas and perhaps could support someone potentially being a little more patient in terms of acquiring their new home. But we've got to look at things perhaps also a little bit more from a qualitative viewpoint. So if you're looking to buy your own home, it's somewhere that you want to live. And if we look at the market in general, Interest rates at this point in time are still very, very low. Uh, monetary policy is still accommodative. Um, stock on the market has increased, but it's still um, difficult perhaps to find exactly what home uh, you're looking for to purchase for your own particular needs. So I think all those things need to be thought about. And if you find something that you really like and really want to live in, and you think that it is a fair price for you and you can comfortably afford to borrow the money and pay the interest on that loan, then I guess the situation becomes more of one of, would I like to live here in the longer term? And that's what I always say to people. Buying property as an investment is very difficult. It's very different to buying property to live in. And I think they should be, those, those decisions should be thought of separately and don't try and combine too many things in the one, you know, in the one transaction. So if we look at it, housing lending declined in most of the states and territories, um, down 6.7% in South Australia, 3.7% uh, in Victoria, 29 in Queensland, and uh, minor increases in both Darwin and Perth. But overall, the other interesting feature is that, you know, lending to the first home buyers continued to come down, and it's down 29.9% year on year. So significant decrease there means that the first home buyers perhaps are feeling the pinch of affordability and something to be kept an eye on, I guess. So we continue to monitor the data on this, and we'll obviously look at our next quarterly review, which will be due in some four weeks time to go through some of these numbers to the end of March in all the various Australian capital city and regional markets and try and make some sense of the whole equation to be able to help people make very good and informed decisions. I'm Andrew Unterweger from Wise Guru. I'll see you next week at our Q&A.